residents of Jalingo, the Tarba state capital, have been advised to regularly check their blood pressure to avoid hypertension, which has been described as a silent killer that barely shows any symptoms. The advice comes on the heels of the 2024 World Hypertension Day, which is commemorated on the 17th of May every year. The report. The United Nations General Assembly set aside May 17th annually as International Day of Hypertension to create awareness on the dangers of irregular BP checkups and as well as how to maintain safe and healthy blood pressure. Hypertension, in the word of the World Hypertension League, WHL, is a driving force in the global epidemic of non-communicable disease, NDC, and a leading risk factors for death and disability globally. The day initiated by World Hypertension League in 2005 aimed to increase awareness of the silent killer and galvanize global action to combat high blood pressure. Some key risk factors contributing to the rising prevalence of hypertension are high intake of salt, tobacco, alcohol, eating unhealthy diets, physical inactivity, stress and air pollution. Although there was no event in Jalingo, the Taraba state capital, to mark the day, some core members in medical field, led by one of their colleague, Agada Caleb, as part of their Community Development Service, CDS, visited Konagaru Primary Development Center for free checkup and diagnosis for people living in the community. A lot of people are not aware of hypertension. Other people are aware of hypertension, but they are not aware of their own blood pressure. So it is first of all important to be aware of our hypertension, to be aware of one's blood pressure, and if it is not high, prevent it from getting high, and if it is high already, control it. Hypertension is what most people are working about, but they do not know. It just it kills silently. Cool. Yeah. So it's yeah. actually a welcoming idea. It's good that people know what their blood pressure is like. So if it's deranged, you can seek help and take medications. I know the government also doing a lot about hypertension, but I don't, I don't think our uh, organizer is working with them for now. So we, I think his partner currently is RISE and other NGOs here in Taraba State to call. Uh, hypertension and the World Development Committee Chairman of Kuna Garu Ward in Jalingo, Joseph Bonadventure, commended the efforts of the core members for selecting Kona among the words they visited as well as the free diagnosis. There is a woman I knew that is here. She has spent a week in Federal Medical Center, but up to today she has never gotten a result. No drugs for her to start up the treatment do they say she has sugar. You understand? So with this diagnosis of this doctor, he may prescribe for her where the family members may purchase drugs for her. It's a great assistance. Elizabeth Angelou and Emmanuel Kubu are among the people who were also at the primary health care center for diagnosis and they both thank the core members for putting them into consideration. I came to check my BP and sugar level. My sugar level and BP are both high. I was diagnosed several times and admitted twice. I have been going for checkup weekly for some months now and I have been paying for those checkups. But this time around, they said it is free of charge. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe this is his project. But indeed, he has tried because the community is helping now. Is they, are, they will be appreciated. The theme for 2024 World International Day is measure your blood pressure accurately, control it, live longer.